welcome to another video today i am showing off my desk space this is basically the creative space that you see here on youtube and on instagram and i've done a little makeover to it actually it's a huge makeover if you watch my previous desk tour i'll put the link down below you'll see a major difference i put my architectural skills to work i had my brother make some shelves for me i designed these shelves myself i made sure that they'd fit into that corner and that they were the size that i needed them to be but apart from that as you can see everything else on here is diy and needless to say i liked how everything turned out so i'm taking you on a handheld tour so forgive me if this is a bit shaky and if it's a bit skewed but i'm gonna do my best but of course before that may I invite you to click subscribe turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up so let's begin with my favorite part of the desk which is this drawer where i keep a whole lot of my stickers i put my favorite stickers in this drawer because they're just easy to reach and these are the stickers that i use a lot of so they're just there this little wooden bin right here was made by my dad and mostly I use it to keep some of the finished letters or replies to pen pals that I have but have not sent yet. And right up in the corner is where my thermal printers reside. If you haven't seen them yet, I have a review and tutorial videos for the faux memo and paper amp. I'll put the link down below. There's not much to tell about this desk of mine. Right now it is super messy, but you see a lot of this area on my Instagram and YouTube, so you're familiar with that. Let me show you this wooden caddy that I have here that I don't usually share online. So these tiny containers, these tiny wood organizers, I got these from Tokotokuya in Johor Bahru, Malaysia and the larger container i got from sm department store here in davao as much as i want to keep it all organized i just tend to move things around a lot so right now it's a bit of a mess next let's talk about my acrylic organizer that holds most of my stamp collection my wooden stamp collection i got this one from ebay in australia and I actually brought it home with me inside my suitcase when I moved back to the Philippines in 2016. It has been the most consistent organized thing in my desk ever since. So now let's talk about the controversial shelves. So as I've said, I designed the dimensions and everything else and my brother built it for me. And I got the question is, can I reach for the stuff that I put there? Well, basically, this is me trying to reach out for the stuff at the back, so I can't reach out for it. So I, what I did is I put in the stuff that I don't use regularly right at the back, and if ever I need anything, I go through the side, or because I can reach it from here, or I ask Arvin to grab a thing or two for me. So the farther side is really more for storage and everything on this side that you see on the screen i can easily grab from the side of the table so as you can see i can easily reach for everything else right now i'm storing these handmade papers on this acrylic tray but everything else is on display and like these ones on this um, organizer i have a bunch of assorted things but these ones are mostly travel related like my loose leaf travel journals from different countries and of course I have my typewriter right here so it's a bit dusty I haven't really used it in a while but it has a new ribbon so if you want to learn how to use a typewriter the very basics especially for Latera 22 I have a tutorial that you can check on my channel as well um, what else can I show you? Oh, this one is actually branches that I bleached myself. I use this for my macrame. I picked up the hobby of macrame when 
of the lockdown happened so it's a newly acquired skill of mine so everything that you see that is macrame here on my desk is made by me personally and oh this is my delphonics tool bag i put all my tools here and inside you will find the colored ones especially the ones that don't really match the aesthetic and they will usually pop out are, are out of place when i take pictures so anything that's not in theme goes inside the bag now let's zoom out a little bit so this is my wicker basket and this is my paper basket actually i put in all of the paper that i can recycle and that i can use to make the handmade paper that you find on so she gathers and now we go over to the not so pretty part of the setup this is my catch-all caddy so from the name itself it actually catches everything so things that i don't want to deal with just yet or i just can't put back to its right place i put it in this bin and deal with it later <laughs> so let's go back to the prettier part or the more organized part of my desk this is a rack that i designed myself which my brother made for me and it was actually his birthday gift to me last year so apart from holding up my unfinished macrame projects and some flowers that i'm trying to dry i have at the bottom some of the pulp that i am soaking so i put them in these plastic containers to soak for a day or two so i have another catch-all area in my desk underneath my desk i put the packaging stuff and the big stuff that needs to be stored so they're all underneath my desk and they are not organized at all hopefully i'll be able to organize them in the near future so do follow so you don't miss another desk tour when i do another upgrade anyway let's go to i think this one is the most organized part of this whole thing apart from my acrylic box so this little tower cabinet right here i think i have created a system in each layer and i've been able to successfully keep it organized for the past weeks now so at the top i have my high definition sponges and then the next tier i have my mold and decal prototypes and all the ones that i'm currently using so as you can see i have quite a bunch and they're of different sizes and different materials and here i have my dried flowers and scents and oils and for the bottom most level of this cabinet i actually organized well it looks messy but it's organized for me all the so she gathers packaging so i have a bin of ribbons and a bin for packaging and envelopes and stuff and i think we are done and i've pretty much covered everything every important nook and cranny on my desk if you think i missed out on a couple of more details let me know in the comments what you want me to discuss further and i'll keep note of that for an update vlog of another desk tour in the future anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video up through till the end I'm grateful to have you here and i'll see you in the next video take care and keep safe bye